morning. So those of you that have been with us a while, like watched our Australia stuff, know that we tend to cure droughts. Everywhere we go, rain follows us. Madawi, where we're at now, has been in a drought for the last 11 months. We got here yesterday. And there is the rain. <laughs> we should start charging. Our streak continues. We're in Oregon. It's been burning up, drought, la 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 la. The one day we're gonna go camping, it's raining. So hey, yay yeah, us. Um, got a little surprise to show you. This, my folk spot. We're gonna take it out and check it out. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Yes, the paint job is straight out of 1980, but it looks pretty cool and it is in cherry condition. Inside looks great too. They put in a couple of enhancements. So we're gonna take this out and see how it is to camp in it. Before we leave on a trip, we always do a safety check. Is it going? Yep. The moon is bright, let's have some fun. All okay, now let's go. <laughs> With you right next to me, so alive and tonight I'm thinking Yesterday it was a hundred degrees. Now it's raining and I got a coat on. Gotta love Oregon. We got our campsite set up. And welcome to the van. We have a nice big bed, not cramped like the RAV lights. Nice place to put all, all of our stuff on. This is going to be very comfortable. You can hear the rain. <laughs> Definitely a major upgrade from sleeping in the back of our RAV4. Thanks, folks. All right, now it's time to change. It's getting cold outside. Crazy. It was 100 yesterday. Everybody knows how much I love the rain. Another great part of the van is we can sit in here and eat cheese and crackers. We're trying something new. Tillamook aged cheddar. That's good. Of course it's good. It's Tillamook aged cheddar. You can taste the cream cheese and a little bit of the cheddar cheese. That's a good combination. So we're gonna do a little different take on food preparation this evening. Normally we use our jet boils with the isobutane. Those are great in all weather. We love it, but my parents bought this Jackery power station, the Explore 1000. And we always travel with an electric kettle. So we're gonna see how they work together. Turn on the AC power, currently at 96%. Go ahead and turn on the kettle. And we'll see how long it takes to boil. Once it boils, what are we going to do with it? Well, we have all of this backpacking food, and um, I think we're going to try some of it. And we've already got these dragon pho noodles from Costco, which are amazing. Just in case that is not so good. Well, we're at 93%. It's getting warm, but not boiled. What kind of a selection we got in there for backpacking food? Oh, well, let's see. Pad Thai. I want to try this hatch chili mac and cheese. Both from Backpackers Pantry. We do not get any kind of a kickback from Backpackers Pantry. But if anybody from Backpackers Pantry watches this, please send us free stuff. We eat your food all the time. We love it. Now I have to prep it. And part of it is pulling this. I don't know what this is called. Oxygen absorber, it says. Oh. I don't know. Keep the thing that keeps the moisture out. Doesn't seem very tasty. No. That's good smell. We're down to 88%, still no boil, but it's getting closer. 
We've got Boyle. Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> Don't be a sissy. Hey! Do, 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 do. Uh, a little bit more. It's three cups, so. No, three quarters of a cup. Well, I was going to say that. Now we seal it for eight minutes. Here we go. Right, timer started. Well, the jackery worked pretty good. But it took 9% of the entire battery power to boil one kettle of water. You know, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. Good for a couple days. We still have one minute and 14 seconds until I stir, and then another seven minutes. Oh, the weight must be killing you. This is a long time. <laughs> I, on the other hand, have gone with the three-minute dragon pho noodles from Costco. Mine are ready to eat. Sorry about your luck. Oh, 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 yummy. We're not sampling these Snapdragon pho noodles. I already know these are great, so I'm going to eat this while she waits for her food to get ready. Hey, baby, you want some of my pho? Nope. I'm going to wait for this chili, which I know I accidentally did not read the directions. And I thought he said three cups, and he said 30 fourths of a cup. So this is going to be very, very what? Seven more minutes and you'll be chowing. How's it taste? It actually has real cheese in it. I'm shocked because it melted all over the spoon. And it tastes really good. As usual, I'm a hungry boy. So I'm also going to try Alpine Air's Kung Pao beef. He's on his second meal. I'm still waiting for mine. <laughs> hey, that's Three you. minutes. Doesn't look like much. Ooh, but it already smells good. Bold, spicy, and sweet. Just like you. Ooh, that does smell good. Something I like about the Alpine Air, it has this little thing on the side. Fold it, crease it, and it tells you which line to fill it to. That's pretty cool. And Alpine Air doesn't give us any money or free stuff either. But their stuff is good. It's ready. Let's see. Oh, that has really good flavor. I wish it wasn't so watery, but that's the cook's fault. <laughs> this is good. I buy this again. Ooh. And the hatch chilies and the pepper jack, it does have a bite to it. That's on fire. <laughs> this is really good though. Trying to film Kate eating that, I had my hand over the pot which started to boil while it was over it. And now I've got a blister on my hand for being dumb. So the jackery really performed pretty well with that kettle. Uh, the kettle pulls a lot of power. It's pulling close to 700 watts and it heats up enough water in one go for two meals or two big cups of coffee. So we only really have to heat one up per meal unless, you know, unless I'm eating double. So that'd get us, you know, easy math. That'd get us 10 meals um, or, you know, five meals and five double cups of coffee out of one charge on the Jackery. So that's pretty good. Give it a thumbs up. The time has come to try the Alpine Air Kung Pao beef. We're gonna have my gorgeous assistant try this. Gotta make sure I get a peanut. Hmm, no, that's not my cup of tea. We'll see what the middle-aged fat guy thinks of the Kung Pao beef. It's got a pretty full flavor. It's lacking a little bit of something. It's lacking like even just like some Louisiana chili sauce or something would, would probably bring it out. It's not bad. I'd, I'd eat, I wouldn't choose it again, but I'll definitely eat this one. That's good. It's not, it's not amazing. Some of the other things are amazing. So off we go and we will catch you. Morning. Morning. Cool. We're gonna eat and then we're gonna read because that's what we do in the woods. We're exciting. Catch you in the morning. Well, it's one of my greatest joys to make Katie coffee every morning, but Went off into the bathroom and I came back and she already used the jackery to get our coffee going. Mm -hmm. Morning, sweetheart. Good morning, Meadow. Oh yeah, that's good. Did you put too much in it? No, not at all. That's great. <laughs> I thought it was three with this little one. All right, we're gonna drink our coffee when we human after that. We got the campsite all packed up and it only took about 10 minutes. Now we'll get some water and go on a hike. And unlike yesterday, today is a beautiful sunny day for a hike. That's Mountain Bluff. I am really glad that we got the chance to spend the night in the van. It has really helped to convince me that that's a direction we'd like to go. The bed was comfortable, there was so much room, and being in the rain and having a place to go that you could sit and lay down and be comfortable in was really nice. Definitely. I love camping, one of my least favorite parts 
check that. My least favorite part of camping is set up and tear down. So being able to get our site totally set up and also totally turned down in about 10 minutes, major plus for me. I grew up where two hours setting up and two hours taking down was norm. This was pure luxury. All that being said, as we look for a van, it's gonna be bigger. Um, not super huge bus size, but we definitely need bigger because we're gonna be spending full time in there, not just weekend camping trips. The folks van was perfect for a weekend getaway. We've done a lot of road trips from New Zealand, all over the US, getting a, a rental car, the SUV, and spending a lot of time just finding like cheap hotels, or Airbnbs. Nothing beats climbing right out of bed and coming into this. We're up in the Wanima National Forest near Lake of the Woods in Southern Oregon. It's one of our favorite places in the whole world. Since this is Forest Service land, there's still a bunch of old growth timber around here. It's nice. They keep the trails maintained, which is always a plus. And there's a lot of animal life to keep me entertained. And that keeps me entertained. <laughs> Another bonus if you're looking to do some serious hiking is the Pacific Crest Trail runs right through here. There's a link at point not far ahead of us. We're not going to be doing the PCT today. <laughs> Probably not tomorrow. Yeah. I can't see it even in our near future or late future. <laughs> our PCT days may be behind us, but who knows? You never can tell. <laughs> Maybe with a Sherpa. Oh, hey, that'd be nice. We have maps.me, maps.me for offline maps. We don't use it all that often because we usually have signal. Uh, we don't have any signal at all where we're at here, nothing. I just pulled up maps.me. That is exactly <laughs> where we're at. Good to know. Okay, it's time for us to hike off and find some lunch. Ooh, I like where your head's at. <laughs> Always a fan of lunch and dinner. Oh uh, yeah, no, food in general. Snacks, <laughs> occasionally breakfast. <laughs> oh, breakfast for dinner, that sounds good. Okay, we are hungry. <laughs> All right, we're out. Well, the hike's over and we're heading back to make us up some backpacking food for lunch. No, we're going to the lodge. <laughs> They really upgraded this place since we were here last. They were up there. Oh, cool. They, had one. They, had one last time. they didn't used to. That's awesome. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow. Wow. Okay, that for a view. Well, they have a quite an extensive menu on burgers and sandwiches and salads. It's not bad. The prices are about anywhere from eleven to fourteen dollars. We were expecting it to be about double that. Thank you. Thank you. Now this is a mouthful. Pepper jack cheese, deep fried chicken, and these peppers. This is really good. Oh, onion rings have a crunch to them. Really good flavor. This is a winner. I got a burger on a lettuce wrap, the low burger. It, it is ba -bunk, good. That was yummy. Lodge at Lake of the Woods. Thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>